Celtic meant business right away in this game and they got off to a great start. A tremendous flowing move and watch this for a tremendous finish from Andreas Tom. 1-0 to Burns' men. Falkert didn't know what had hit them. And they kept up the early pressure. Just a couple of minutes later, Peter Grant with a long-range shot, tipped over by Parks. Van Hoydonk had a chance to make it two midway through the first half. A bad first touch and a bad finish. It was one-way traffic at this point, and then Van Hoydonk on the charge again, brought down maybe a soft decision here for the penalty kick awarded. Falkert not happy. And the Dutchman stepped up to take it himself but Park saved it. Celtic's second goal came just before half-time. The through ball from Tosh McKinley, Andreas Tom with the downward header, and they're in the driving seat now. And there was no let-up for Tony Parks after the break. The pocket keeper did well to block this shot from Simon Donnelly. Paul McStay not far away with the rebound. Then a chance for Falkirk, a free kick. Gordon Marshall to the rescue for Celtic. Then Tommy Burns put on Georgia Cadet midway through the second half. Good work from the Portuguese star here. The shot deflected away for a corner. But it was Cadet who made it three just a minute later. 20 yards out. He looks up and he sees Parks off his line. He tries the shot and the post helped it in. No wonder he's made an immediate impact with the supporters at Parkhead these days. He enjoyed the moment too. And then Celtic made it four just a minute from time. Donnelly picked the ball up on the edge of his own box. He ran almost the length of the pitch with it. A one-two with Cadet and the finish as cool as you like. Celtic going from strength to strength. You can't say that about Falkirk.